Hi everyone! Today we're going to study simple interest. Let us first define simple interest. Lending money, as bank does, is one type of business. It costs to borrow money. The amount one pays for the use of money is called the interest. The amount of money that is being borrowed or loaned is called the principal or present value. Simple interest is paid only on the original amount borrowed. When the money is loaned out, the borrower generally pays a fixed rate of interest on the principal for the time period he keeps the money. Although the interest rate is often specified for a year, it may be specified for a week a month, or a quarter, etc. If an amount P is borrowed for a time denoted by T in years at an interest rate denoted by R per time period, then the simple interest denoted by I is given by this formula. I equals P, that is the principal, times R, that is the rate, times T, and that is the time. Let us have this example. Sarah borrows $600 for 5 months at a simple interest rate of 15% per year. Find the interest and the total amount she is obligated to pay. First, let us write our formula. I equals P times R times T. Then let us collect the given starting from the principal denoted by capital P, and that is $600. Next is the time denoted by T. This is equal to 5 months. Let us convert this 5 months into year. Since there are 12 months in a year, so we will write here 5 over 12, and this is the value equivalent to a year. Next is the rate denoted by R. This is equal to 15%. Let us convert this 15% into decimal. So first we have this 15 over 100. And the quotient is 0 0.15. And then let us now solve our interest using our formula here. Writing our formula on this side and let us do the substitution respectively. So this P here now becomes 600 times the R is 0 0.15 times T and that is 5 over 12. Let us use our calculator and the value of interest is 37.5 and this is in dollars. Now, let us compute for the total amount denoted by A. And the formula is A equals principal plus interest. Principal is the $600 plus 
the interest that we have computed here, 37.5. And the sum is the total amount equivalent to $637.5. This is our final answer. Hi everyone, today we're going to study future value of simple interest. For illustration, we have here money and if this money is loaned, we call this now the principal. Later on, the principal will incur another money and this is called interest. If we add the principal and the interest, we will get this future value or total amount. Let us have more discussion about the total amount or future value. The total amount denoted by capital A is computed by this formula. A equals principal plus interest. In symbol, we will write A equals P plus I. But we know that this I or the interest has this formula I equals capital P times R times T. It means to say, we will substitute this PRT to this capital I. So we have here now A equals P plus the I and it's now PRT. So we have now two terms here and there is a common term and that is P. We can factorize that P. So we will have P is now factored out. And for this term P, what remains is 1 and then plus. Removing the P on this term, we will have RT. And this is now our working formula. So we have capital A equals capital P times the quantity 1 plus the product RT. Let us have this example. Ahmed deposited $2,500 in an account that pays 6% simple interest. How much money will he get at the end of 3 years? For our solution, first let us write the formula. And then, let us list the given. First is the principal denoted by P and that is the $2,500. Next is the rate denoted by small r and that is the 6%. Converting the 6% into decimal, we will write the 6 over 100. And the quotient of this is 0 0.06. It means the 6% equals 0 0.06 in decimals. Next is the time denoted by T and that is the 3 years. Now we are ready to use our formula. Let us write it on this side and then let us do the substitution. The capital P is now 2,500 times the quantity 1 is a constant. We will just copy and then plus the product RT. So R now becomes 0 0.06 times the T and that is 3. On the next line, 
we will get the product of the 0 0.06 and the 3. So we will have 0 0.18. Let us simplify. Let us get the sum of 1 plus 0 0.18. We will get the 1.18. Now, we will multiply this 1.18 with the 2,500. We will get this 2,950. And this is our total amount. Of course, we will not forget our dollar sign. This is our final answer. Hi everyone, today we're going to study more sample problems about this topic, simple interest. Let's have this example one. David owes a total of $3,060, which includes 12% interest for the three years he borrowed the money. How much did he originally borrow? First, let us write the formula for the total amount, and that is A, that stands for total amount, equals P as the principal, times the quantity, 1 is a constant, plus the product of R, that stands for the rate, and the T, which is time. Let us now list the given of the problem. First is the total amount denoted by A and that is the $3,060. Next is the rate denoted by R and that is the 12%. Let us convert this 12% into decimal. First, let us divide the 12 by 100. Of course, we drop the percent sign. And then we get the quotient. We will get the 0 0.12. So 12% equals 0 0.12 in decimal. Next is the time, which is 3 years. And in this problem, we are looking for the principal. That is the P. Using our formula here now, let us write it on this side and let us do the substitution. For the A, it is now 3060. P is the variable and we will copy it again here. 1 is a constant and then plus the product of RT. The R now becomes 0 0.12 and the t is 3. In here, let us first simplify the product 0 0.12 and 3. We will get the 0 0.36. We will get the sum of 1 plus the 0 0.36 and then we will have this 1.36. We want to find this p let us divide this equation by the coefficient of P, and that is the 1.36. So the left side, 3060 divided by 1.36, it is now here. And our right side, if we divide this by 1.36, the decimal will cancel out, only the letter P comes down. And then we will take the quotient of this. It will be 2,250. And that is the P or principal. Let us not forget the unit of measurement. P is a money. We will affix our dollar sign. So this is $2,250. This is our final answer. Let us see example 2. 
a Visa credit card company charges a 1.5% finance charge each month on the unpaid balance. If Marta owes $2,350 and has not paid her bill for three months, how much does she owe? First, let us write our formula for total amount and then let us write our given. First is the rate denoted by R and that is 1.5% per month. Let us convert this 1.5% into decimal. So we will put 1.5 over 100. We will get the quotient here. So the answer is 0 0.015. So 1.5% equals 0 0.015 in decimal. And this is the rate per month. Now, the principal denoted by capital P is the 2,350. Next is the time denoted by small t and that is 3 months. Take note, our R here is per month and the time is given in months. Let us now solve our problem. Let us write again our formula on this side and then let us do the substitution. A equals the capital P is now 2,350 times the quantity 1, we will copy that constant, plus the product RT and R becomes 0 0.015 times the t, which is 3. We will multiply this decimal and the number 3, so we will have 0 0.045. And then we will add this one plus this decimal, so we will have that 1.045. Using our calculator, we will take the product of 2,350 times 1.045, our answer is 2,455.75. This is the total amount. We will not forget our dollar sign. And this is now our final answer. Hi everyone, today we're going to study bank discounts and proceeds. Banks often deduct the simple interest from the loan amount at the time that the loan is made. When this happens, we say the loan has been discounted. The interest that is deducted is called the discount and the actual amount that is given to the borrower is called the proceeds. The amount the borrower is obligated to repay is called the maturity value. If an amount, capital M, is borrowed for a time T at a discount rate of R per year, then the discount D is given by this formula. D equals capital M times R times T. The proceeds P, the actual amount the borrower gets, is given 
by this formula proceeds p equals m that is the loan amount minus d that stands for discount now we know that d is equal to m r t we can substitute this product for d in the next line we can see that the d is now changed into m r t so we have this new formula p equals capital m minus the product capital m times r times t in these two terms there is a common factor and that is m we can factor out that capital m so on the next line we have capital p equals capital m times the quantity 1 minus the product rt and this is now our two working formulas this formula for proceeds and this formula for the discount let us have this example one francisco borrows one thousand two hundred dollars for ten months at a simple interest rate of fifteen percent per year determine the discount and the proceeds first let us write the given of the problem starting with the amount denoted by m and that is the one thousand two hundred dollars next is the time denoted by t and that is 10 months this 10 months we will convert into a year and we know that there are 12 months in a year so we will have this 10 over 12 and this is the equivalent for a year next is the rate denoted by r and that is 15 percent per year let us convert this 15 percent into decimal let us put 15 over 100 dropping that percent sign and the quotient of 15 over 100 is 0 0.15 so 15 percent equals 0 0.15 in decimal now we are ready for the computation of discount d our formula is d equals the product of m times r times t doing the substitution now we will have the m is now changed into 1200 our r is 0 0.15 and the time is 10 over 12. Let us use our calculator to simplify the product and we will have 150. This is the discount. We will put our dollar sign. Next is the computation for proceeds P. This is our formula. P equals M times the quantity 1 minus RT. Let us substitute the corresponding values. The M is the 1,200. 1 is a constant. Then minus R is the rate 0 0.15 and the time is 10 over 12. Let us simplify this product first and we will get 0. 125 the difference of 1 minus 0 0.125 is 0 0.875 let us get the product of 1200 and 0 0.875 and that is equal to 1050 
This is the proceeds. Let us write the dollar sign. It means to say, this is the value that Francisco will receive. Remember, the maturity value of the loan is the 1,200. And that is the same value of the amount M. This is our final answer. Let us have this example too. If Francisco wants to receive $1,200 for 10 months at a simple interest rate of 15% per year, what amount of loan should he apply for? Let us first write the given. This time, the proceeds P is equal to that $1,200. Next is the time, and that is 10 months, that we converted into a year. So it becomes 10 over 12. Next is the rate, and that is the 15% that we converted into decimal. In this problem, what we want to know is the amount M. Going to our formula, we are now to compute the amount M. And the same formula we are going to use. P equals M times the quantity 1 minus RT. Doing the substitution now, we will have the P now becomes 1,200. M is what we want to know. We will just copy. 1 is a constant, then minus the product RT. R now becomes 0 0.15 times the time, that is 10 over 12. Let us simplify further. First, let us get the product of 0 0.15 and the 10 over 12. The same value we will get, the 0 0.100. 25. The difference of 1 minus 0 0.125 is 0 0.875. So this decimal here is the coefficient of M. We want to know the M, so we will divide this equation by the coefficient of M. And that is the 0 0.875. So the left side, the 1,200 divided by 0 0.875 will appear like this and equals the right side becomes M alone. The coefficient will be cancelled out. Using our calculator, we will get this 1,200 divided by 0 0.875 we will get this 1,371.43. This is our M. This is the amount of loan that Francisco should apply for. Let us affix our dollar sign and then let us copy this value opposite amount M on this side. It means to say, Francisco must loan this amount 1,371.43 dollars. The discount will be 171.43 dollars. And he will receive that 1,200 dollars as proceeds. This is our final answer. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time. Hi, Matt Enthusiast. 
I would like to invite you to join us and be a member of Ideology Community. If you become a member, you will help Ideology YouTube channel to make more math videos and to ease logistics expenses. See you all in Ideology Community. And get this beautiful Ideology Fun Badge and be a member according to your interest as a bronze member, a silver member, or a gold member. We love to see you in Ideology Community.